Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you a very fast way to add snow and rain or rain to any of your environment pieces. So there's a few ways out there that I've, I've actually used to create my own snow environments. Um, however, I just found out about this and it's actually with a, um, a thing that probably most of you guys have. It's called Ultra Dynamic Sky. So first of all, for those of you that don't have this, you're going to have to purchase Ultra Dynamic Sky. Once you have purchased it, you're going to add it to your project, which I've done already. Um, you'll see that it's in your content folder right here, Ultra Dynamic Sky. Go into the blueprints, and you're going to drag this Ultra Dynamic Sky into your blueprint, uh, into your level, which I've done already. Um, and you might as well drag the Ultra Dynamic Weather System in there as well. And in case you wanted to go a little bit more in depth with this, this is how I actually found out how to use this. You're going to go to this readme here, right click on it, run editor utility widget, and that will actually pop up the documentation. And under material effects overview, this is how I learned how to do this. Once you have ultra dynamic sky in your level, I'm going to go and find my um, static mesh. So this is just something I brought in from Megascans, same with these other objects. And I'm going to go to the static mesh, but I'm really looking for the material because this is going to be a material function that we're going to add into our material. So double click into this. This is a material instance, so I'm going to have to find the parent material, which you can find right here under general. And I'm going to double click into that. And here in the material graph, this is where I'm going to right click. Surface weather effects. It's called surface weather effects. It's this big giant node here. Uh, I'm basically, you're going to go to kind of the end of where it's actually going into your um, output. And I'm just going to drag this to material attributes. And from the other side, material attributes. I'm going to drag it in here like that. And then from here, um, you'll see there's two nodes here that are sort of highlighted. Apply wetness and then apply snow. I will right click and type in bool. You're going to add a static bool node right here. And I'm just going to duplicate this one and basically drag one in there. So you need one of these for each one. And this is essentially, um, you're just going to say true or false. If you check it, it means true. In my case, I'm going to add snow. I don't want wetness, but you could pretty much do this the same. If you had a, a scene that was raining, you need everything to be covered in um, rain. So for here, snow, I'm going to check true. And here, make sure you hit apply or else you might not see it uh, working and wonder why it's not working. Hit apply, save, go back to my level. And you'll see there's no snow on here yet. Okay, why is that? There's a couple other things we have to change. I think it's dynamic weather. Under manual weather state, I think I need the snow. Well, that makes it snow, okay. Um, let's see, I think there's a material. Material snow coverage, put that to one, bam. Can even change the amount. Let's say I only want half. I think one is the max coverage though. So this is where you want to. Um, and material effects take time to change. You can also uncheck this if you want it to happen immediately, or it will change over time. Okay, and look, this is this one is using the same, so it got covered in snow. All right, you guys, and there you have it. That's how you add snow to any of your objects here, just through the materials. Please uh, give my video a thumbs up if you liked it, if it helped you, and subscribe to the channel.